Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build your own Android web view app using Android Studio for publishing your app in Google Play Store. So let's go ahead and open a new project in Android Studio and select empty activity project. Click next and create a name for your application. Now in this drop down over here, change Kotlin to Java. Go ahead and click finish button and it's going to take a while to install. Now that the installation is completed, click on the finish button. Now if the firewall box shows up, just click allow access. Now it's going to take a while for Android Studio to download Gradle. So just wait for that to happen. You'll see the progress bar in the lower right corner. Once the resources have finished downloading in the upper left corner, go to manifest folder and click on Android manifest.xml. So here, what you want to do is type uses dash permission Android colon name Android dot permission dot internet. Make sure internet is in uppercase letters and close the bracket. Now in the upper left corner, select the activity underscore main dot XML. You're going to see this view open up and from this page in the upper right corner click on code this is going to bring up this file so go ahead and remove text view component completely select and delete that and then you want to rename this component entirely so delete everything but layout rename it to relative layout make sure relative layout is also specified on top in the opening bracket. Now in the upper right corner, go to design. Now here, click on the magnifying glass button and that will open up a search input box. So in this search, start typing the word web because we're going to look for the web view component. Now click and drag the web view component into this box here. Okay. Now in the upper right corner, go to code again, and we're going to change something here. So we're going to go into the web view and right here, we're going to type Android colon ID equals at sign plus ID dash web view. Now on the left hand side pane, what you want to do is go to the res folder, open res folder open values. Now open the themes folder and select themes.xml file. So in this file here, what you want to do is replace the word dark so that what we end up with is no action bar. So go ahead and type that in there. Now on top, let's go to the main activity.java. Here I'm going to expand import and at the bottom here, you want to import android.webkit.websettings. Import android.webkit.webview. And import android.webkit.webview client. Now go into the main activity class. At the very top over here, type private web view, my web view. And don't forget the semicolon. So you will find this code in the description of this video. But basically, just copy that and replace example.com with the URL of your web view app. So whatever your URL is, just put it here. So go ahead and copy that and paste it into this area over there inside the onCreate function. Also look for this code in the description of this video and go ahead and copy this entire block of code and insert it here at the bottom into this class just below the onCreate method. Now go to this part of the code and click on bitmap object and click on import class. So this will import the bitmap class. Now 
still in the same file just make sure your URL is specified here so now we're actually ready to build the APK file go to build and select generate signed bundle APK option here just make sure that the APK radio button is selected and click next now we're going to create a key store path so on this screen go ahead and click on the create new and in the upper right corner here click on this folder and in the file explorer that shows up we're going to select the folder that we want to create that file in so I'm going to go into projects create a new folder name and call it my project name go into that folder you can use the name of your project and at the bottom here create your JKS file now click OK here you're going to enter your password four times in the first box the second box and then also here and over there I'm going to change validity years from 25 to 30 even though it doesn't really matter that much so go ahead and fill out the rest of this form which is your basic company information go to OK button here make sure that remember passwords checkbox is selected and go to next step choose release and finish now your APK file is going to start building so we're gonna wait for that to finish then expand this box and go to locate the file so this will show our generated APK file and it's ready to be launched in the phone emulator so go ahead and click on that button in the upper right corner and click on create device button here choose phone here I'm going to choose Nexus 5x and click on the next button so here you want to click on the download button for that device and just wait until this installation is complete so now go ahead and click on the finish button then click on the next button and click on the finish button again now on the next screen in the upper right corner click on the play button and this will launch the emulator for that device it's gonna take a while for it to load but basically just wait it out and when it's done bring up your APK file that we compiled earlier and simply drag and drop it into device this will add your web view application to the device and you can drag this up and you will see that it has been actually added here on this list go ahead and click on your web view app icon and it will open in the device and you can start using it as you would regularly use the app so guys thanks for watching my Android Studio APK web view tutorial if you think this helped you build your own APK for your web view application so you can publish it in the Google Play Store I encourage you to like this video or post a comment or even subscribe to my channel I regularly post new coding tutorials and there's always something new to learn.